Welcome Wilderness Explorers, it's Miss Gisa, and today I'm at the Ash Meadows Wildlife Refuge. This is the largest remaining oasis in the Mojave Desert. Ash Meadows is also a wetland. You can pair a visit to Ash Meadows Wildlife Refuge along with Death Valley National Park or Las Vegas. There are about 30 species of plants and animals that don't live anywhere else on earth, but here. We call those species endemic. Can you say the word endemic? That means they only grow here. The water here is known as fossil water because it comes from ice that melted from the last ice age. Can you believe that? Water is forced up from underground and you can see springs right here in the middle of the hot desert. Ash Meadows Wildlife Refuge said to have the greatest concentration of endemic life in all of the United States. This spot right here. There are at least 26 species that have adapted to the environments around these springs. One of these species is, of course, my favorite fish, the pupfish. These tiny fish, about one to three inches in length, can survive in water that is twice as salty as the ocean. And when you're here, you can actually see the salt deposits on the floor. Now, as you know, I always like to prepare before I go to visit someplace new. So I have some special books that I've picked out. There are not many books about the pupfish. So one of the books is actually an endangered animals encyclopedia. And you, if you go to the page 94 and 95, there is a pretty nice section about the devil's hole pupfish, along with a beautiful picture, because they are so tiny that they're hard to see. And the ones at devil's hole, you can't see because you're not allowed to get that close. Another book, this one's for adults or much older children is called The Relics of a Beautiful Sea, Survival, Extinction, and Conservation in a Desert World. And this book has several chapters on the pupfish. Now, once you go inside the visitor center, it's really important that you grab the Junior Ranger book because this will help guide you through the park. It's really fun for kids to do. And after you go to all four refuges in Nevada, you can earn a badge. Now, the mission of a wildlife refuge is to conserve, protect, and enhance fish, wildlife, plants, and their habitat so that we can all continue to enjoy these environments. You can see other pupfish here at the Ash Meadows Crystal Spring Boardwalk, just down the road from Devil's Hole. Their nearest cousin to the Devil's Hole pupfish is the Amargosa pupfish, which live right here in Crystal Spring. We'll make other stops here at Ash Meadows Wildlife Refuge to see these amazing pupfish. First, we'll stop at Devil's Hole, and finally, Point of Rocks. Let's go. <music> So you won't see any pupfish here in Devil's Hole because the Devil's Hole pupfish are very endangered. Some people have tried to go down and swim down in that cavern where they're at and so they built this to protect the pupfish that are left there. The habitat in Devil's Hole is like no other in the world. The pupfish that live here in Devil's Hole have become geographically isolated from each other. Each of the pools here in Ash Meadows has its own version of this tiny ancient fish called the pupfish. They were all essentially the same type when the area was totally covered in water. But as it dried up, the fish in each separate pool slowly started to evolve differently into a subspecies of the pupfish. There are several types of desert pupfish, but the devil's hole pupfish is the rarest of them all. Why? Do you ask? They were the first group of fish to be isolated in their own environment, confined to Devil's Hole for 10 to 20,000 years. They have adapted to their unique environments 
despite the very warm waters and the poor oxygenation levels in the waters. Devil's Hole is full of fossil water and is a natural warm spring sitting at a constant 92 degrees. Additionally, the water has a beautiful blue color. Here we are at Point of Rocks. You'll pass mesquite trees on your way to King's Pool to see pupfish. And you can actually see them here. At Devil's Hole, you definitely will not see any. And at Crystal Spring, you may see some. But here, you will definitely see pupfish. Perfect example of the male and female pupfish. You can see the male pupfish are blue and the female pupfish are a brownish tan color. This pool has lots of male pupfish. And you can also definitely see pupfish if you go to Death Valley National Park, which is only about a 30 to 45 minute drive from here at the Salt Creek Interpretive Trail. Now, be sure to watch our episode on Death Valley National Park and all of the national parks we've been to. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel. 20 